Next, that new tragedy at home. Police say a young boy somehow managed to get his hands on a loaded gun and accidentally shoot himself. Today, his entire community is mourning his loss and trying to figure out how this happened. This accident is a tragic reminder of what can happen if a gun is not properly stored away from children. CBS 4's Rio Crane is live outside the elementary school in Miami Gardens where that child was a student, Riel. Well, Carly and Mary Bell, a lot of parents just simply really did not want to talk about here what is kind of an unimaginable tragedy here, but the superintendent was out here talking about what he is calling heartbreakingly preventable. My heart goes out to the family. Parents arriving at Rainbow Park Elementary in disbelief, the kind that comes in waves after learning a six-year-old is dead. This is just unacceptable. Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho was also there this morning, making a special visit to the school where the child was a student to talk plans that would stop this from happening. Today, I'm, uh, I'm heartbroken as I've been many times before, and I want to concentrate my efforts in supporting this family, this school, this community. Secure your weapon. Police yellow tape surrounded the block Saturday morning at Northwest 27th Court in Miami Gardens. Loved ones trying to hold back tears after investigators say the child found a loaded gun that was not properly stored and accidentally shot himself in the head. First responders attempted to save the boy. He died at the hospital. Isn't it sad, right, that as a school system we need to step up and teach a six-year-old about gun safety. Carvalho took to Twitter multiple times over the weekend with a message he came to deliver in person Monday. Unless we take care and address those issues up front, we're going to continue to be in this cycle uh, every other day or every other week. After the debate, after the prayers, what we know is there will be one six-year-old who will never come back to this school. Well, police at this time have not said exactly how the child got the gun or who the gun belonged to. The boy's parents were not home at the time. No one has been charged, but charges could come once it's determined how that weapon was accessed. We're live in Miami Gardens, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.